Mahmoud Pajwani, chairman of Infinism, says his company can't make payroll. It just so turns out that all our deposits, uh, all our cash was at uh, SVB. We have no other recourse. There is no payroll for Monday. The company provides automation software for the chip industry. Pajwani says even before this company, he's been working with Silicon Valley Bank since the 1980s. And the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation is only guaranteeing $250,000. We have millions sitting uh, in the bank. How are we supposed to handle this? Are we, are we going to be just shut down if this is not resolved? Silicon Valley Bank has been funding Silicon Valley innovation for decades. With a total valuation of more than $200 billion, the bank collapsed on Friday after running out of money, taking a huge loss in its bond portfolio and with venture capital drying up. I don't want to name specific countries, but boy, oh boy, if we don't fix this right now, we would have given our competitors overseas a gift by stopping us right now. This is a seismic shock into the Bay Area economy. If all of these companies are limited to the deposit insurance limits of $250,000, you're going to see a collapse of a generation of startups here in Silicon Valley. Corey Johnson is the host of the Drill Down podcast and managing member of Epistrophe Capital. He says the FDIC has tremendous powers to come up with emergency solutions. He says it's actively trying to sell pieces of the bank's business this weekend in the hopes of generating liquidity so companies can get their deposits out. But Johnson says the FDIC has to tread carefully. And I think it's hard to get a national consensus around rescuing Silicon Valley and Californians. The East Coast media is blaming technology and crypto. People in the middle of the country are mad at the wealth that they perceive that Californians took all this risk with their Silicon Valley bank. Johnson adds there's still the potential of an even greater risk if the contagion spreads to other regional or smaller banks come Monday. I trust that Governor Newsom and that Janet Yellen and the FDIC and the White House can recognize what a big problem this could be and will step in with the right solutions. This is a big bank. It's a big failure and it's a big problem. But the solution is going to have to be clever and it's going to have to be fast. In Silicon Valley, Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News.